Okay, in this video, I want to tell you a little bit about light and its encounters. Uh, this isn't really a lesson in itself, it's more just of a setup for some of the topics that are to come. So, the reason why I'm telling you this is think a little bit about what light does as it travels. So, here is just an example of a light ray. And what light rays do is they just travel, they just travel in straight lines. This one's doing here, just going and going and going, and they pretty much travel unimpeded, just like more or less forever. And the origin of this light right here might, for example, be some distant star. And again, by whatever process in the star, the nuclear fusion or the proton-proton chain reaction that we discussed in talking about the sun just generates this light and off it goes. And so the setup then for the next few videos that you'll see is what happens then when light comes in sort of in a region maybe right here and let's say hits something. So finally that great freedom that it had just to travel and travel and travel literally across the galaxy suddenly becomes interrupted when it hits something. That's what the next uh, few videos are about and what we'll do is we're sort of talking about hitting something is there's two laws that we're going to going to uncover here. One is the law of reflection because what can happen when light hits something is it can reflect off that something and go a different way. And the other law is going to be the law of refraction. Okay, that's going to be the second thing that light does. Um, as we'll see here, reflection is going to, we're going to think of it as our uh, bouncing law. That's what causes light to bounce off of things. And refraction here, that's going to be what we're, we're going to refer to as our bending law because you'll see that refraction is what is the process of light bending when it hits something, okay? So everything that we'll be talking about in the next few videos is about what happens when this freely traveling light ray that just goes and goes and goes finally hits something. And what we're going to say, it's either going to reflect or it's going to refract. Oftentimes it does both, but we'll just have to analyze what we need for the particular situation. And so the general the notation that you'll see then, let me just tell you a little bit about that. Notation, sort of the idea that you see is we're going to do something like this. We'll draw sort of the object that's going to interact with sort of like a line like this. And the reason why it's a line like this because this is going to be sort of our, our boundary over here. So sort of up in this region right here, this is where the light ray has all of its great freedom. As we said before, just traveling and traveling and traveling and doing whatever it needs to do. And then it suddenly hits this boundary here. And what is this boundary? Well, it's the boundary between all this great freedom it had, and let's just say down here, I'll label it as some, some stuff that it encounters. What that stuff could be, it could be, certainly could encounter some water, it could be encountered rock, could encounter the surface of the planet, you know, on and on and on, whatever you think it might encounter sort of out there in the solar system as it travels, well, that's exactly what we're talking about now. And again, this isn't a, really a lesson itself, but this is just the notation that you see. Here's one region right here where it has freedom. Here's another region right here which is on the other side of that boundary right here. So what we'll see maybe is maybe on this side of the boundary will be outer space. And maybe on this other side of the boundary here might be a bunch of water or the rock or the surface or whatever. Kind of get that? But this line will be the boundary here. And the way we'll think about it is we'll think about it as a light ray sort of just traveling and traveling and traveling and having its freedom like this. And we'll draw it coming all the way up to this boundary right here, okay? It may have traveled millions of light years through the galaxy just in this freedom mode here, in this region of outer space right here, but suddenly it encounters this boundary between outer space and water, outer space and air, and this is where we're gonna be concerned with what happens. So this is sort of what we draw. We draw a light ray coming all the way in and literally touching that boundary between outer space and water or, or sand or glass or whatever it happens to be. And then what we'll do is we'll sort of draw the interaction is of course the law of reflection would send some of the light beam back up this way. So this of course is one of the things the light rays can do when it comes in after traveling several light years across the cosmos, it might just bounce off of it and reflect. And that for example is what sunlight does when it hits the moon. The other thing that the light ray will likely do is penetrate into the material. Like if this is water down here, it might actually go in the water. I and mean, we all have seen swimming pools before and you know that swimming pools can be lit up with either outside light or sunlight, and this is this will be the refracted beam in here. So there's the reflection, there's the refraction right here. But this is generally the picture we're talking about. So as you sort of watch the next couple of videos, just be ready for sort of a 
simplified schematic of the interaction, which sort of looks like this. You'll just see a boundary like this, and that's again the boundary between, you know, region one and region two, whatever they happen to be. Then we'll draw the light ray coming in like this, and then we'll go from there in terms of the interactions. Okay, so really, this is all I wanted to tell you in this particular video here is it just sort of be ready for pictures like this as you proceed, noting that this is just the boundary between one region and another when light encounters something. This is where the light was before it encountered it. This is where the light's going to be after it encountered it. And we'll see how the interaction goes from there.